The exhibit is called Obra Negra, or Under Construction. In the works for three years, it's a collection of paintings, sculptures, and installations by Tijuana artists about their city's connection to the border, capitalism, and corruption. As one of the most prolific artists in the city, Marcos Ramirez, known here as Erre, should have had a piece in the show. But he turned down the invitation. He's been avoiding the Centro Cultural Tijuana, or SECUT, since 2009. I didn't go see the show. I prefer to focus on how me and other artists can make up for what SECUT has failed to do in the last three years. It was three years ago when Virgilio Muñoz was named director of SECUT, a controversial move. Prior to heading SECUT, Muñoz was the director of Tijuana's Instituto Nacional de Migración, the state immigration agency. It tracks the flow of migration from Mexico to the U.S. The agency came under suspicion for its connection to human trafficking. One human rights organization decided to look into it. Recuerdo que le dije a Virgilio, I remember hearing a lot of rumors about corruption, so I went up to Virgilio Muñoz and asked him about it. He said it wasn't true, and I didn't want to push it. But at that time, many government officials at his level were involved in a lot of illegal, incestuous activity. Over six months, Clark Alfaro met with polleros, or smugglers, with Mexican immigration agents, local police, and with Virgilio Muñoz's subordinates. He found an intricate web of corruption linking all the way to the top. The amount of money that changed hands between the smugglers and the authorities was huge, tens of thousands of dollars a month, which went on to enrich many public officials. In the mid-90s, 45 percent of all illegal migrants crossing into the U.S. left from Tijuana. One smuggling network moved an average of 1,000 migrants a month, collecting $250,000. Muñoz's agency received part of that money in kickbacks. After an investigation, Muñoz was arrested. Two days later, he was released. He cycled through other top political posts until he was placed back in Tijuana as the director of a major museum. Today, Muñoz doesn't acknowledge or deny the charges, but he dismisses the criticism from human rights groups and Tijuana's artist community. That's why we have public institutions which are in charge of solving a problem. Whether interest groups then decide to carry on with the problem, that's another issue. Muñoz called the Secut protesters, quote, people from a small world. The name was appropriated by more than 250 Tijuana artists and authors, like Heriberto Yepes. I think that art has to respond to what happens in our society. When you live in a place that witnesses so much crime and corruption, the artist has a responsibility to react. Sometimes he or she should respond not only by making art, but by exercising his rights as an artist.